Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series on Unemployed to Brackley Town. In today's video, we're going to go through a few games that we've already played in the background. Then we're going to go into a game. Can my camera get it in? Asante Hedda and on his debut. And then update you of where we're at and if we've made any tactical changes. So let's get right to it. So we played Kettering, we drew against them in our first game of the season, and then we go into our second game of the season, and it's away against Southport. And as you can see, we drew 3-3. Thought we played really, really good considering we're for our away team. 17 shots to their 16, on target 6 to their 8. But we held more possession, 54 possession. And as you can see, we really dominated for first half. We got for first goal, they scored, then we scored. So we was winning 2-1 at half time. Then we go straight into the second half. Southport gets a goal and then they get another goal. They go ahead 3-2 and then straight after that, we get a goal. It was very up and down game, but I thought that we played really, really well. They changed some things up, but I said in the Kettering game was we need to make these changes quicker and not just think about it. For managers, AI and football managers 23 have that advancement. Are they too advanced? Have you had any experiences with the managers AI? Let me know in the comment section. Then we got our first win of the season. We it was at home and we played Curzon Ashton. We won 4-1. 32 shots to their full team. We had only 10 on target. That was probably the biggest disappointment. 51% possession. So who scored for goals? So Makama, York, Stead and York. So York got two goals for us. We came out blocked really fast. Got for first goal. Got for second. Got for third. So it was 3-0 up at half time. And then in the second half, it took us a while to get that fourth one just to really kill the game off. And then I went cautious and that cautious tactic which I'm still looking to make some tweaks on they got a goal back so we go from our first victory to our first loss we only lost 3-2. We was playing Bliff Spartans. We had more shots, but look at that, 20 shots and only four on target. It's amazing that, because in my Tottenham save, we was doing some brilliant long shots and it's lovely to see those goals, right? I guess that what I need to do is that maybe work into a box, but have one player shoot more often, maybe. And maybe that might give me my best long shot midfielder or even wingers, just putting them on shoot more often. If they've got a great finish, great long shot, getting him to shoot more because I do need to do something about this 20 shots for on target that's unacceptable now what was disappointing about this game is Bliff Spartan Jay O'Donnell he got sent off in the 70th minute we was already losing 3-2 we just didn't spike quick enough their XG was already up and we was just forever playing catch up but we went into another game and we played at home this time and we got that victory shots on target still a bit mm, we did 16 shots to their third and got the same on target for seven. But the main thing is we put the ball in the back of the net and we won 2-0. Let's look at the story. Very up and down in the first half and then second half. I think once we got that second goal, as you can see, it just killed the game. So this is the tactic that I tend to start my games with. I did make some tweaks looking at a RDF tactic and I, I don't know, I just felt like it just wasn't working. I think that's where we got that defeat and then I made those changes to basically revert back to what we was playing with Tottenham. So let's just quickly run through it. Ah, oh, yes, that's it. When I lost 3-2, those three goals, they was just running in behind. Literally, loop running. My defence just seemed very wide. It just felt weird that there was just literally a gap here. And their one striker in that middle was just running through. So with me going a stopper, the stopper's going to try and get for Cam or that playmaker, whereas that cover is going to cover that running over the ball. And that works works quite well I quite like that and I like that in my Tottenham save as well so if you're playing against a fast striker or someone with direct football that cover position is fantastic and then in our cautious formation I have changed this up I've put them as NCBs so no nonsense centre backs and full backs all on defence so very defence defence just one attacking player and that's the target forward we are going to go into a game to end the video so spending more is our next 
big test, I guess. And that's the one we're going to go into. You can play a lot of this in the background because at the end of the day, you don't want to see every single game. We've signed our first player. Completely forgot that we actually put a bid in, in for background. Well, not bid. We've got him on a free transfer. But Enoch Asante, we've got him on a free transfer. He was released from Tottenham. Never played for Tottenham, but we've brought him in. Bit of Premier League pedigree. <laughs> Maybe. Never know. He's 21 years old. He's from Ghana. And look at those physical stats for a non-league player. I think it's brilliant. Some good mental ones as well. Bravery, 13. Determination, 13. Teamwork, 13. Work rate, 13. Good head off the ball. Not bad finishing, 9. I mean, he's 21, so hopefully we can get his technical abilities up. I'm excited. I'm excited to use him. And by the stars of comparison, he's um, our best striker. And you can see why I needed to bring in a striker, because we've got Makema. Yes, he scored a few goals for us. He's promising as well he's only 18 years old so I needed someone a little bit more up and then we've got Adam Rooney who's obviously 34 years old but he's injured at a moment and he's not back for at least seven eight weeks I had to go out and find someone and we've brought him in and I think he will suit our play of being a target forward pressing forward or a poacher right so I won't be showing you our next game because our game has just been postponed and it will be rearranged for 10th of January. So we will show you for next game, which will now be on 6th of December. And that's going to be against Leamington away. Right, we've just picked our team. As you can see, Asante, our new signing starts for us. So we've got Asante up front, York on for left, McCam on for right, Woods and Armisen in the centre pair. In our defensive midfield, we've got Maroon, Betsy. And then our back four is Walker, Senior, Dean, Carline. And then goal, Lewis. I'm still not too sure if I'm going to keep sweep keeper or not. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know. Ooh, they've got some good form considering their 20th. Well, better form than us. Both only lost once in the last, was that six games? Just going to double check that. All my settings are still the same. And if you didn't know what my settings are, there's my pitch settings. Over for defence to Makama. Can Makama get it in? Asante Hedda and on his debut. Yes! Brilliant. Could he be a great sign-in? All right, we're down for right again with my camera. Back to Carline. To Dean. Dean lobs it forward to my camera. And my camera, surely. No, good save by Hawkins. It's playing really well that Asante. He's got pace. He's got strength. And he can head for ball as well. Finishing. Not so. Oh, Asante is playing on for pressure. That's where we got that pressing forward on. Still going, still deciding advance forward or pressing forward for this tactic. I think pressing forward could be good. I think at Tottenham I use DLF. Obviously Kane has the, that ability. Oh, great through ball into York and York finishes it. Great. Playing really well. Oh, Woods tackle. Good boy. Senior clears it. Tried to find Asante, but Leamington's now got the ball. Come on, Carl, I tackle him. No. Clear it. Clear your lines, boys. York's got it. Good. Ah, oh, that was a poor ball by Woods. What was that? It's just like, oh, I can't be bothered. Walker G. Walker G. Have we got another Walker in our team? Ooh. Walker G. You know what? We've got 2 now. I think the uh, second half, I'm going to change the instruction to work into the ball work into the box and as I say that mistake York finds our third goal let's try and decide what I'm doing at my half time definitely going to be changing that do we go cautious do we try out cautious now I've made that mistake before going too cautious at half time they're going to pile on for pressure we need to be we need to still have that balance and it's half time good first half Look at that XG. Brilliant. So for only cautious approach, I'm going to go. I'll probably on the 70th minute change to our cautious defensive. I just want to change this into work ball into box and probably down that tempo a bit. Quite happy with that. And just trigger press one more down as well. So it looked a bit weird for animation. Oh, Leamington just nearly scored. Was that a save or was that for crossbar? That's it. That's better hands by Lewis. 
basically complained that, that he's a squad player and he hasn't had any games. And to be fair, he's had like one game and one sub appearance. And his form's okay. So we'll give him a try. And York in again. They can't handle York. Is that a hat trick by York? Brilliant stuff. 4 0. We have completely dominated this game. 56% possession, 19 shots and 10 on target so far and i don't think we've finished yet where's york he's got his hat trick let's give him a rest let's bring on yusuf 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 twark yusuf hasn't got e so i'm not too sure how you pronounce that who else who else da, 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 da. let's give asante a rest as well he's had a really really good game and i think that's all i can make i can't make three subs can i i can make three subs oh brilliant uh well we will just continue making that sub or <laughs> really weird angles oh we're on a bit of a counter yusuf good ball in oh poor finish by makama all right off the defender i go i'll let you off can we get a fifth finish it off i think it was finished on fourth to be fair Oh, Makama. Oh, that was close. That beat Hawkins, definitely. Woods, free kick. We're in stoppage time. I think it's either going to run down or we're going to have an attempt. Oh, great save by Hawkins. So that is it. Great game. So there's the XG. Just shows you four goals. Absolutely domination. Leamington had chances throughout the game, but just couldn't utilise... I mean, what, they got 10 shots and four on target. So those four on target, they just couldn't put it back in net. And then we had 14 on target, 25 shots. That's that's good. That is good. 55% possession away as well. Brilliant stuff. And I've just achieved one of our own. I don't know what that achievement actually is. I'll go check it out later. How's F1 doing on their achievements at the moment? I think I've done 25 or 30. So where are we in the table? We are 13th now. We've got a game in hand over the majority of the league. Spennymore's got two games and that's one of the teams that we've got to play. We've got now a positive goal difference, plus two, got 28 points. We are five points away from playoffs. Game in hand, if we win that game in hand, obviously, that's two points away from playoffs. We are miles away from top of the table, but our aim is to get in those playoffs. Right, that's it for today's video, and I hope I'll catch you on for the next one. Thank you for watching. Want to watch more? Check this one out.